Hi, Nick Nellis here. I'm going to talk about the proper use of the machine today. This is your pressure regulator. You go less, you go to the left, you go to the right, you get more pressure. You have a locking nut here that you need to, after you set your pressure, where you need to lock it in. So you'll lock it like that. You get a pair of pliers and you'll lock it down real tight. Okay? This is a low pressure shutoff switch. If you lose water pressure to the pump, this will kill the machine. These are your exhausts. When you, before you start the machine, you need this set up like that. So you've got, so you got engine blowing through the heat exchanger. And I always like to have it cracked a little bit like that too. When you're running a single wand, when you're running two wands, you want to close it completely right there. This is your key switch to turn the machine on. This is your throttle. I like the, I said a full throttle. This is your choke. So you'll choke it this direction, you turn the key switch, it'll start up, and then you unchoke it. You also have to push that button there, that bypasses the low pressure shutoff switch, so the machine starts. This is your pump clutch, on, off, on, off. This is your thermostat switch. This uh, adjusts the temperature to your water on your heat exchanger. So. I like it set at about 220 degrees, about right there. These go to your wand, so you run the hose out to your wand. This is your water in to the machine from the garden hose. These are your bypass valves. We like that one open at the 3 o'clock position when you first start cleaning up the machine. That way it always trickles a little bit of water back to the tank uh, so you don't have any overheating issues. When you come out of the carpet cleaning and you open that up, that's 100% bypass. That'll dump the water out of the heat exchanger, cool it down. Then you disconnect your vacuum hose from your waste tank, and then you turn the machine off like that at full throttle. Uh, this is your oil change hose. You undo this cap here, put your container there, and a quart and a half, quart and three quarters of dirty oil will dump back into the thing. You then close that real tight with a pair of pliers. You undo your oil filter here. You put the new oil filter on. You add your oil here. Check your dipstick and then you're ready to clean. Always use a Kohler filter if you can. That'll help maintain your warranty. Uh, this is your blower. To change the blower oil, you have a plug right here. You undo that plug capture the oil and then to refill it you put the plug back in you open this one up you open this up here and add your oil to it till it starts to come out here and then you close that and then you put your cap back on uh, this is your vacuum relief valve that opens and closes as you put the wand on the carpet this is for your water pump if you want to change the oil from it you open it up capture the oil close it add oil right here to your at your water pump the white cap and fill it to the to the point on the on the the dipstick to do a water damage to do a water damage you close your exhaust from the heat exchanger you open your exhaust bypass up 100% and you go from the on position to the off position on your pump clutch and that's how you do your your water damage. This is your hour meter uh, that shows you hours and RPMs. You push that, it shows RPMs, push that, and it sets it at hours. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is your chemical injection. You've got a hose back here you put into your chemical bucket, your solution bucket, and you open that up and that needle comes up while you're cleaning carpet with pulling the trigger. And uh, when you're done, you shut it and close it. That's pretty much it. Remember, change your oil about every 50 hours for increased longevity of your engine. And uh, thank you very much and have a nice day.